Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I saw that you guys all really like the DIY hamster toys so I thought today we would do more of a DIY type of project and we're going to be making a clay hamster so you're going to need just a little bit of clay. It can be modeling clay, air dry clay. My clay is like clay that you put in the oven and it hardens. So you're going to need a brown, a white, and a pink. And you can change up the colors a bit, but yeah, the brown is for the body and the white is for the cheeks and the pink is for the little nose and the feet. So you're going to start by rolling out a nice round ball, nice and smooth, and this is going to be for the body. And then you're going to roll out another one for the head. It's going to be about half the size of the body. And then you're just going to smish them together. So now that you have your body made, we're going to move on to the little feet. Now you can use a pure white depending on the color of your hamster. But I think I'm going to mix a little bit of the brown from the body into my white, white just to soften it because of the darkness of the hamster I'm making. So now I'm just rolling out that little bit of clay and I'm going to cut it into fourths for the feet. I have a little clay knife, but you can use any knife. A butter knife probably works fine. And I'm just going to roll those up into little tiny balls and put them on the hamster. It's a little bit tricky because they're so tiny, but you can kind of just roll them in between two fingers or on the table. Now I'm going to stick them on. You can kind of gently press down on them to ensure that they will stay and also just to kind of flatten them out a little bit. And now the feet are on. So now we're going to make a tail and you want to get some clay. I'm using the same color I used for the the body so that dark brown and I'm just going to take a little bit and roll it into a little ball and I'm going to stick it on the hamster so now I'm going to make the ears so I'm going to take make two more balls just about the same size as the tail so I can just roll out a piece and cut it in half to make sure that they're the same size here's one and let's just finish rolling this one up and here's the second one you can kind of flatten them out a little bit with your fingers if they're feeling a little bit too round but now it's time to move on to the cheeks now this part was a little bit tricky for me getting the sizing right because you don't want it to be too big and cover too much of the face and you don't want to make it too small and not have it cover enough but they should be about half the size of the ears and tail so now that I have these two little balls made I'm going to gently kind of flatten them out with my fingers and then I'm going to press them onto the face and these are going to be the little cheeks and you can kind of gently work them on without squishing the face too much. Just gently kind of smooth them out. 
And if there's a little bit of a gap, that's okay, because that's where we're going to put the nose. So get a little piece of pink clay and roll it up into a little ball. And you're just going to pop it right in between the little cheeks, and then you have the cute little hamster face. So I just got this little guy out of the oven, and he, he is so cute. I also made a little carrot for him because every hamster needs a carrot and you also can make a little treat for your hamster. Mm -hmm.